What's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We are going to be in Unreal Engine 5.5. As we all know, Unreal Engine 5.5 just dropped a few days ago. And instead of just jumping on the bandwagon of just saying, hey, Unreal Engine 5 is out and these are all the new features, like you could just go look up yourself, I wanted to actually do something a little different. And I've played in some of these features for a while. And some of these I ex experimented with in Unreal Engine 5.4. So what I'm going to do is actually do a little tutorial. Out. First one I want to do here is for the audio driven animation for MetaHuman Animator. This is probably one of my favorite new additions to Unreal Engine. This generates high quality facial animation simply from audio. You don't need an iPhone. You don't need a capture device like mocap. You don't need any of that. You just need the ability to record audio. This is going to make it amazing for people to hire actors. You can have actors from anywhere and they just send you the audio and it does a pretty good job. When you click on the audio driven animation for MetaHuman on the Epic Dev page, it's going to give you the instructions on how to do this. I'm going to run through it fast for you right now live so you can see it done. All right, so let's go ahead. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that you have the plugin. All right, so go to your plugins. If you see MetaHuman, this experimental toolkit, then you have what you need. If you do not see this, then you're going to need to go to your Epic Launcher. You're going to need to type in MetaHuman and you're going to need to install the MetaHuman plugin. Once you have it installed, then you just go back here. I just activated all the MetaHuman runtime, everything. And then you can go ahead and close this and you should be ready to go. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our folder that I've already created for my character. I already know the sound that I want to use. I have a female voice pack here of Elvish phrases and English phrases. I already picked one. I want to use one called, are you ready? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click here. And this is how you will know if the plugin is actually installed, you will have access to the MetaHuman animator. So if you don't see this, then you know the plugin is not installed. All right. So we want to choose the MetaHuman performance. And I'm just going to name this MP underscore R U ready. So that's what we're going to name it. Now, once that's done, you can save, go ahead, open that up. And you're going to have a list of options that you have here in your MetaHuman performance asset. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we want to change this input type because we're not using a capture device of any type. We want to use audio. So you just go change this to audio. Now, the next thing is to go and we're going to find our audio. And I said I wanted to use Are You Ready? And this is a list of Are You Ready's. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? We're going to use that one. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Once you drop that in, you'll see your audio track is here. The next thing you want to do is pick your MetaHuman's face. I'm going to pick a uh, character Kapaki and I made an alternate version of her. You want to make sure it's the face and not the body. So I'm going to pick this Kapaki alt. It's going to ask you and you can tell it not to show this again, but it's basically asking you or telling you, I should say that it is recommended to use the audio clock as the clock source. So just say yes. And you can put this to not show that again if you want. So once you have that done, you'll see your MetaHuman's face pop up. And when you press play, are you ready? You're going to hear audio, but no face movement. That is because you need to press the process button up here at the top. So you go ahead and process that. You will see once you process it, that the MetaHuman's face will change. Now, when you press this, and I'm going to put this on loop so you can see it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to the next phase. Now here you could export an animation. You have options or you can export a level sequence. I'm going to show you both of them. If you want to export the animation, you just press export animation. It will typically pick the folder that you are already working in and you just go ahead and press save and it will select the skeleton type, which it should automatically populate this with your MetaHuman facial skeleton that everyone shares. If it does not, then just find it and fill it in. All right, then you just go ahead and press create. Your asset is there. We can go ahead and open it and you see it says, are you ready? Now, the thing you're gonna have to do here though, is you're gonna have to have a notify track. And so what you wanna do is cl right click inside your notify and you wanna go ahead down and press play sound. Are you and you want to move this all the way to the beginning. Are you ready? Are you ready? And there you go. If your sound Are is you not the ready? correct one, when you go to uh, Are you ready? put your sound notify in, Are you ready? 
if your wave source is not the one that you chose by default, you just go here, pick the drop down and type in what you're looking for and select your are you ready? All right. So that's pretty much how you do the uh, animation uh, sequence. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the other version here, which will be to export the level sequence. So you just press export level sequence. It's going to give you the LS and then the name. It's going to pick the right folder and then you just press save. Now, when you go down here, you're going to want to pick the metahuman that you want to use for the performance, which mine is Kapaki Alt. We're going to go ahead and create the sequence. Now we should be able to close this, but I want to leave it open because I want to show you something else in a second. And then we should be able to go down to any level here. So I just got a blank level and then I'm going to go ahead and go to my sequence, which should be in the face here and you'll see them. So now this is my level sequence. I can just double click on this and my character's in the scene already. All right. So now I can press play and you will see. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's that easy guys and girls Are that you easy. Ready? So the next thing Are that we're going to want to do. So now you've got that done. You see how easy that was? That was just so easy, man. It's crazy. All right. So the next thing that we want to do, I'm going to give you a bonus here. I'm going to show you how to add an animation to the body. So that way she's not standing there in that pose, you know, the A pose. We're going to go ahead and on the body of your character, you want to click on this little plus sign and all the way at the top, they have animations. I'm just going to choose this anim female idol meta and you're going to see that it doesn't pop in. You also want to make sure that this is all the way at the beginning when you do it. You just move it to the beginning. You want this to play the entire time or however long you want it to play. You can chop sequences and do what you need to do in here. The next thing that we're going to want to do is you want to go to your control rig and just press this little white X. And then you will see that your character should snap into the pose of the uh, beginning of the animation. We're going to go ahead and run this back. And now... are you ready so it's that easy and you can see that the characters facial expressions are even pretty good um, and you can always go in and tweak those facial expressions to make them a little bit more you know how you, you want ready? them but you can see the eyes are stretching good are you ready it looks good it looks good and that's just audio no facial capture device so that's pretty much it for that one guys pretty easy very easy one of my favorite features period hands down as i'm starting to work on my dialogue and my project so it came along right on time um, this is a great feature i will be doing some more tutorials on other features in unreal engine 5.5 as well as i have some tutorials coming out for agls so be sure to like subscribe hit the notifications and share the content i appreciate everybody that's been coming through here i'll be back with another one amp capo black adonis games